I just found the best open source rag framework. Introducing Verba. Verba is an open source application that's designed to offer an end-to-end, -end, streamlined, and user-friendly interface for rag engines. In just a few steps, you can explore your dataset and extract insights with ease, either locally with Hugging Face or with Olama, or through a large language model provider such as OpenAI, Gohere, as well as Google. Now, for the people who do not know, RAG is an algorithm or a technique you can say that's able to process the output of a large language model and optimize it better to get a detailed and precise answer. Just take a look at this video example of what you can do with Verba. Hi everyone, welcome to this video where I'm going to cover how you can build out your RAG pipeline from scratch. Rather than using various frameworks, I'm going to show you how to the architecture design and each step of the process. So we'll start off with how you import your data, chunk your data, vectorize, understand your data and what kind of questions that you can ask, and then we jump to the fun part where you can generate text from your specific documents. Let's get into it. Verba has access to all of the Weavy documentation, blog posts, and YouTube videos. Users can ask questions that are specific to Weavy8 and our various features. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build this from scratch by starting off with the Reader Manager. The way that my colleague Edward has built out Beautiful Verba is by assigning an assignment to each manager. So we'll start off with the Reader Manager, and what that's doing is it's taking the path of the file path that you may have. It's also taking in PDFs as an option for you to load in your custom data and start chatting with it in like a quick RAG application. Verba 0.3 is going to allow you to upload data directly on the UI. So in this example, I'm dragging in a document called Llama Index Blog Post, and I'm uploading it onto the front end. Um, what this is doing is it's going to import this PDF file, and then it's going to go through the process of chunking it. Now I'll jump over to the Chunker Manager. What this is doing is ensuring that Verba is retrieving the right context and not going over the token limit. Um, so depending on the model that you're using, because we are modularized, right now we're um, using OpenAI, but we'll eventually allow you to use the Sentence Transformers uh, model. So depending on the model, it has different uh, token limits. Uh, so what the chunking is doing is the first one being the word chunker. What the word chunker is doing is after each word, it's chunking it. So the is one word. Then next, jumping over to the sentence chunker. Once a sentence ends, it, that is chunk one. Jumping over to chunk two will be, be the beginning of the next sentence. Next is the PDF reader. And I have a video on the PDF and markdown reader. And what this is doing is where there is a beginning of a uh, topic, uh, so like in a research paper, you have abstract and introduction. Abstract is one chunk, inter introduction is the second chunk, and so forth. Uh, moving on to the markdown reader. What that is doing is taking the heading, so it could be heading two, and just assigning it to chunk it based off of the markdown heading. Now that we have our chunks, we want to be able to embed our data. So like I said, in the first version, we only relied on OpenAI, but we're now adding more models for you to transform your data into embeddings. Uh, so we'll have the sentence transformer and the Cohere multilingual model. What is really cool about that is that you can import uh, maybe documents that are in Spanish and then chat with it in English, and it's still able to retrieve the documents that have um, the query that still have the documents that are similar to the query that you are looking for. Now that we have our data uploaded, it is chunked and we have vectorized it. Now the part that Verba is doing is retrieving the context that is important or relevant to your query. So the retriever manager is assigned the task to make sure that the query is that is relevant in blog post one is retrieved and it's not uh, retrieving uh, documents from document 10 per se. Um, this is the way to just ensure that your query is getting answered correctly. Now that we have the retrieved information, we can generate text from it. So in Weavy, we have our generative module where in step one, we are retrieving the blog posts or YouTube videos that are the most relevant. And then we jump over to the generation text of it. So maybe you have a query that you want to generate text from. So you take, given this blog post, I want you to write a Facebook ad about it, or maybe a poem. 
That is what the generation manager is doing. And as you can see, we have different models that are enabled with this. Um, so you can use OpenAI, you can use Cohere or Palm. And this is that like modularized ecosystem that we discussed and that we want people to have. So Verba is open source and rather than just using the WeBeat documentation, you can load in your own data. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next update for Verba. Bye. Now, wasn't that amazing? This is an open source framework which allows you to extend it further and it's something that is totally free. It will be revolutionizing the way we utilize RAG with our documents or with whatever sort of docs or files we might have. Now throughout today's video, I'll be showcasing how you can get started with Verba, go over some examples and so much more. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access Access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. So how can you get started with Verba? Well, you're going to be able to easily install it locally and you just need to simply install this by typing in pip install golden Verba and you would do that into your command prompt. You would have it open up and just simply paste it in and you, you can have it started up after you have inputted your API key. So this is the easiest way you can get started. You can build from the source. You can also utilize Docker for this. There's multiple different API keys that you can utilize with this. So that's also really helpful. You can utilize it with Olama as well as with other sources like Google, Gemini, OpenAI's API key, and so much more. Now, if you're gonna be deploying it with PIP, they have a step-by-step -step process as to how you can do this. You'd wanna make sure that you have created your first virtual or your python environment and once you have created your virtual environment you can then install it within that virtual environment once that is done you can launch it by simply just typing in verba start into your command prompt after you have installed it and then once you have started up you can then go to your local host and then you can start playing around with it within this ui and you can see that this is a really nice ui that you can play and utilize this rag engine with another thing to mention is that you can also install it with docker which is another easy method to install this now, if you go to their GitHub repo, they'll go through a walkthrough of what you can do with Verba. It showcases each functionality. So this is an easy way for you to understand all the different things about Verba. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below. Now, let me go back to their doc or sorry, the local host, which is where I'm going to be showcasing a couple examples. So this is the interface. This is the chat interface where you're going to be able to interact with the RAG engine. Now, if you are to go to the documents, this is where you're going to be uploading and searching for any sort of doc that you have uploaded. So in this example, this is an example that has been provided by Verbo, and they have uploaded a lot of different blogs. So for example, there is a blog on hybrid search and explained it. So in this case, we can then go back to our chat component and ask about this. So we can ask, what is the hybrid search? And then we're going to click in enter and it will then provide us a good detailed explanation key points on the blog it will also showcase the document viewer as to where it got the current like where it was actually able to retrieve certain components from that blog post and this is the great thing about this tool it also showcases code snippets and it does a great job in optimizing the response from the large language model and in this case we're using gpt4 omni which is really cool and this is the best large language model out there you're going to be able to get a really good detailed response out. Now, there's many other features that are associated with this. This is the overview page, and this is where you're going to be able to take a look at the admin console, where you can even have it so that there's other team members that can access it. You have different libraries as well as different variables that you can set. For example, you can set Olama APIs as well as the OpenAI API key. If you go down, this is a great way where you can import your data. This is where you can input various sorts of file types. You can chunk it. You can also select different embedders. If you go down a little bit more, you can query your data and they give you a good step-by-step -step, like demonstration as to how you can do this, which I truly recommend that you take a look at their YouTube channel. They do a great job in showcasing different sorts of tutorials as to how you can do this. But that's basically it for today's video, guys, on Verba. 
this is definitely an amazing tool that I truly recommend that you take a look at. It's an open source rag engine that you should definitely take a look at. So with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value out of it. Make sure you check out the Patreon page. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.